Welcome back to another episode of Health is Wealth. And thank you so much for tuning in. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been watching these. You know, I'm putting these out every week on Sundays and I'm having a great, great time. I really look forward to doing this because, you know, for me, it's it's just as much, you know, me helping myself with, you know, things that I'm learning through my process and just through journeys and things that I've got on my mind as it is to hopefully help you learn um, and take something from this and be able to either be inspired, motivated, or, you know, just come along on the journey with me as we're all in a journey of life, you know, doing something. And so again, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate all the support and look forward to this, you know, um, growing and, and just, you know, seeing what's next with it. So thanks again for everyone who's been supporting and tuning in. And I truly hope this is helping you in some way, some shape or form with anything that you could take from that. And on this week's episode, what I wanted to talk about was the word resilient. And by definition in the dictionary, it is the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, right? It's it's toughness, it's being tough. And I think about this in my own journey because for me, I think it's part of why I'm seeing a lot of the progress, especially my fitness journey, that I am right now because of being resilient, right? And if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have made it this far because for some of you who are barely just getting to know me, you know, maybe starting to tune in to some of the stuff that you know, I post on, on Instagram, or YouTube and stuff like that, you know, you see my journey for, from where I'm at right now, but it doesn't necessarily mean this is my first time, you know. Honestly, if you go and look at my YouTube channels, you can see this is not my first rodeo as far as my journey in, in trying to lose weight, trying to lose the body fat, trying to get in shape, you know? And if you go to my YouTube channel and scroll back to some of my, my earlier videos, I mean, to be honest, you're going to see stuff that goes way back to, you know, four, five, six years ago. And so this is not really being my first journey. So with that, you know, it's the ability for me to have not given up that I really attribute to why I am where I am now. Because had I not been so resilient throughout the years of starting, stopping, trying this, you know, um, that failing or whatever, there's no way I could have gotten to the point where really at this last few months is where I've seen the most amount of progress through my journey. There's a lot that's changed, you know. Um, I finally went to go see a doctor, had some long conversations about my health, where it's going. A lot of it because of age, a lot of it too, because I know I had made several attempts and it just, I wasn't really able to seem to do it by myself, right? And so it's got me to the point though now to where I'm seeing a lot of this progress. I'm starting to see my body fat, you know, um, lower. I'm starting to see my strength increase. I'm starting to see the momentum build up and all these things that are starting to build. But it's because I've been able to withstand and get up quickly from difficult things, you know, through the years of trying and struggling and, and doubting and, you know, the hard times and all of that. And it's because of that that brought me to where I am now. And I think that's the biggest secret to anything in life, you know, that we are trying to to achieve, to, you know, a, a journey where we're trying to start, you know, on or anything. The real secret to all of it, I really think, comes down to that being resilient. Because you have to keep trying and trying again, even though it's going to be tough, even though you're going to have moments of where you want to give up. But if you can continue swinging, if you continue to get back up and get back in the fight, it's only a matter of when, not if. And I think that's the thing for people who are successful in any areas of their life. It's not always necessarily because there's something someone knows that nobody else knows. It's because they were resilient. They were able to withstand all the difficulties, get back up and keep going, regardless of how hard it was. They just went for another attempt, another attempt, another attempt. And sometimes you don't see that. You might see the one attempt, the thing that might be working in someone's journey, 
But you may not have seen all the tries, all the struggles, all the times, all the days, weeks, months, and years that went into it. As I said, for my own journey, I attribute a lot to where I am now and the progress I'm seeing finally in this year because I was resilient and I still didn't give up. I mean, like I said, if you look at some of my YouTube videos, I can show you, you know, if you go back to the very start of them and you go to my older videos, you can go through the timeline. This is not my first time as far as this year of me saying, okay, you know, I'm going on this weight loss journey, you know, I'm going to do this and that. I've learned a lot through the years. There were things I didn't know, didn't understand, you know. Through all those years, I never went to a doctor. I, I thought it was just me. I was trying to figure it out. You know, I, I I hired personal trainers, all these different things. Nothing was working, right? And if I really am going to be vulnerable with you and, and tell you for what it is, I mean, 2019, I got certified as an NASM, National Academy of Sports Medicine, personal trainer. Still wasn't able to get my body to the point of where I wanted. And that's a tough thing to say because I still hold that certification, you know, and I want to do my best to keep it, you know, so I can help somebody else on their, you know, their journey. But just to show you that this has been a long time coming. You haven't seen how many times I started, stopped, started, stopped, started, stopped, right? But again, the point here is through those years, I withstood all of the struggles, even starting again and again, knowing I failed the last two, three times, knowing, okay, I'm still trying to do the same things here. What's going to be different this time, right? And because I've been able to do that for so long, I attribute resiliency and being resilient to why I am seeing the progress I am now. I learned a lot more this year. I finally went to a doctor and said, I've been struggling. You know, I have an idea. I, I went to study this stuff, but I can't seem to apply it to my own life, my own journey. What am I doing wrong here? You know, I couldn't be accountable enough. It was tough. But that's when we had a long discussion about lifestyle changes. You know, I've worked part-time job, kill myself, you know, for the last six, seven, eight years, to be honest, you know, and it was because I was working my day job and then going to my night job, only surviving on three to four hours of sleep, and it was deteriorating my health, and no matter what I was trying to do, it was counterproductive because all those things that I, you know, weren't doing that were aiding in it, they were just pulling me further back, so no matter how hard I tried, it was, it was too hard, and I learned a lot because of my age this year, um, just how off my hormones were because of things like that, because of lack of sleep and other things. And so finally being able to get to that point this year, it was only because of that. And that's the thing that we need to remind ourselves when we're struggling, when we're on a journey, the one thing that's going to get us to where we want is being resilient. That's the trick, that's the hack, that's the secret right? It's never giving up. It's being able to withstand and get up quickly from difficulties. And you continue to do that over and over again until it happens, right? But most people want to give up and wonder why they didn't get it, you know? And I understand it completely because I said, I've been on this journey start and stop for years, I still refuse to give up because I knew I wanted this that bad. I know for what I wanted out of my journey was going to mean the most to me because it's your health. It's my health. Like that's part of this, you know, conversation really is, is, is the health thing. And so knowing that it was always a goal, it was always this and that. I always had the choice of either giving up and saying, you know what? I mean, I've tried this a couple of times. No way. You know, this is meant for me. It should have happened by now, right? Could have had that attitude, but then it wouldn't have brought me to where I'm at today. It wouldn't have brought me to this is the round that things are finally starting to work. And that's how successful people become successful. As they try and try again, failure after failure after failure after failure, they stay resilient until it starts working. And that's how it's all, you know, that's what it's all about. That's how it all works. Don't give up. You have to be resilient. You have to be able to withstand the difficulties, the struggles, 
the, the doubts to everything. Because if you're able to do that, and if you're able to, to withstand all that, and again, it's also about getting up quickly too, because the longer you stay down, the longer it's gonna take you to get back and keep going and try again, right? You can't stay down and out. You have to get back in the game. You have to keep up with the fight. If it's worth it enough to you, the faster you move, the quicker you're going to get there. It's not gonna be easy. Again, I am proof it's not gonna happen on the first try, you know? I've been doing this, like I said, forever trying to figure this out. And finally this year, I'm getting to a point with my, my fitness where I'm seeing the progress and I'm really actually heading in a direction and I see the traction. But most times you don't see that in a lot of people's journeys. You see the highlights of things looking good. You don't see the failed attempts, failed attempts, failed attempts. And so resilient, guys. We have to be resilient. And think about that. Next time you want to give up, next time you're like, ah, this is too hard. Next time you get knocked down, remind yourself, all you got to remember is to be resilient and keep getting up and just withstand all the difficult things. And as long as you can keep pushing through and, and roll the blow, right, of things, you're going to get there, but it's the point of not giving up. It is because of the resiliency, that's my true secret. That's what's allowed me to get to where I'm at right now with my journey. Yes, I've tried some things different this time that I didn't do with my weight loss journey before, but more importantly, it's because I never gave up. It's because I stayed resilient. Because had I given up and say, fine, I guess it's not meant for me, I never would have got to the point to where I would have tried again to where timing was right and whatever happened in my life, I finally got to the point that I've, I've tried, I gotta go see a doctor. It wouldn't have happened if I gave up. And because I stayed resilient, it got me to where I am now, which is going to get me where I'm going to. And that's all the progress I am seeing in my journey. And it's one of those things that I'm learning day in, day out that's going to attribute to all the other things that I'm trying to work out in my life, all the other things that I'm trying to progress, right? And I understand now it's resiliency. That's the secret to all of it. Just keep going, withstanding the difficulties, getting up quickly, you know, um, do it all and just keep going until it happens, never giving up. And I understand that's going to be what will get me to where I want to be. You know, there's gonna be a lot of things to learn along the way of different stuff that I'm looking to achieve. But the most important thing is not giving up. Once you give up, then you're done. There's no way it's going to happen for you. So remind yourself to be resilient. And that's literally just keep going, withstand the difficulties, and that's going to happen. And it's really kind of what you get out of it, you know, when you become resilient, it, it, it's the reward that you get at the end of it is because you decided to be resilient and not give up. I really hope this one helped you because for me, it, it really put things in perspective to think, you know, what's really changed outside of some of the stuff that I've changed physically in the nature of my journey this time around. But most importantly, it's because I've been resilient. It's what's pushing me and what's gonna continue to push me. And it's, it's what's helped me get from here, from there, was staying resilient, not giving up, was standing all the hard times, all the failures, all the, you know, maybe this is not meant for me, and getting back up quicker and quicker. Now that I understand that, I know it's just a matter of building more resiliency up here, up here in our head, you know, because that's where that's going to happen. And when we can get our mind to train more and more with that, of being resilient, then we have the upper hand. We now have a better abil ability of understanding. If that's all it takes, I'm just gonna keep swinging until I win this round, right? So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, really excited about this episode because I really wanted to share again what I think has been a real key factor in me really seeing a lot of progress this time around in my own fitness journey and just other things that I'm, I'm looking to achieve and I'm working towards. And I get it now. It's, it's just never giving up and keep fighting, withstanding all the difficult times and getting up quickly. And that's what's going to get us those goals that we're after. So thanks again for joining in and we'll see you on the next one.